All right, this is Jen Hoffman for Reality Wanted. I am here with Allison and Rich, two people that are producers on this Big Brother show that you all love so much. And my first question for you is, when you first created the show, did you know people would be psychotically obsessed with watching it? <laughs> Who wants to take that one? Yeah. <laughs> here, you know what we love about the show is that we do have such obsessed fans and we have such loyal fans, especially in the internet realm. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what's unique about the show. And it started out that way a decade ago uh, before any show really had that um, that sort of multi-platform appeal as they call it um, so it, it, no I don't think we could expect that but um, it's it's terrific and it is what makes Big Brother what it is yeah and then when you first pitched this and conceptualized this and came up with this it seems almost like a no-brainer obviously put a bunch of crazy personalities in a house was it difficult to sell this like or what was your process like well actually this is a format that mm -hmm. is an international format that started mm -hmm. in Holland yeah. so the simple concept of putting people in a house and in this bubble and uh, having them buy for a cash prize ultimately in the end and sort of that voyeuristic thing was developed already and it now is in multiple countries around the world. What we did was we sort of turned it into a game um, where we pitted the house against against each other instead of the audience voting for a winner. Yeah, and, and that's that really, different. That yeah. really is why the show is, is so fantastic and it makes people do all the things you say they do because, uh, and I, Alice and the props on season two, they came up and they revamped the whole show and, and it really it really made a difference, I think. And that's smart, because then the characters really come out, because instead of playing nice with each other, then letting America see who you might be, instead you really have some nastiness and planning and all these kind of crazy things going on. Yeah, what you get is people able to play a game and able to be themselves, come to the diary room, tell us what they're doing, and then go out there and be somebody else. Um, it takes that popularity contest that was originally part of the show out of the equation and gives us the drama and gives us the reality soap opera that was our goal when we transformed it. And then we keep elements decade. in, whether it's America's player or, you know, you get to pick your favorite house guest. So there is interactive, you know, you can watch 24-7 online. So there are still interactive elements and America still does get to participate in the game, but just not not to in totality deciding who leaves every week. Right, so how important are those personality for the show? Uh, it's the absolute most important thing that goes into making this show. If we don't have a good cast, if we don't have a good mix of personalities, we have no show. It is casting 100%, th that's it. The rest of it is just us, you know, throwing in a competition here and there, a twist, and some, you know, and editing it all together. But without a, a great group of people, we have no show. Yeah, see, this is a, a casting site, realitywanted.com, yeah. you, and you're very familiar with us, obviously. Right. Um, but, you know, it's funny, because some people jump off the page. You see Rachel, and you know, you're like, oh, she's, you know, bat-ass crazy, and you love her, and she's beautiful, and she's hot, and then you have other people that maybe it's harder to judge. So how do you, as producers, pick people and just know they have that special something? I mean, I think you have to look at, you know, we always tell them to be themselves and just to be you and not try to pretend or be someone that we they think they, we want them to be because it's really the reason we put them on the show is because that's who they are. And ultimately, when they get in the house, that's who they're going to be. So it's I think it's looking for people that are genuine and have that something interesting about them. They have that little that it factor that, you know, not everyone has, but that, that little spark. And it's, it's hard to tell. Everyone's different. Some people are some people are really boisterous and some people Lane was totally different in casting but he was hilarious and funny and we knew there was something about him that we hadn't seen before and it and it came out in the house. So what do you guys think of possibly taking um, you know Rachel's situation and, and making kind of like their love story kind of like people did with Robin Amber on Survivor. Are you thinking about that or the wheels turning or? You know it, it's it's really interesting to watch the relationships grow out of the show. I mean last year we had Jeff and Jordan and they're still together which is fabulous and and uh, of course on The Amazing Race that was fun to see them. Um, so you you never know. I mean, I we wish them the best, and I think they're a really interesting couple, and it'll be fun to see what happens with them. And, and who knows, maybe yeah. a show could come out of that. It's an interesting yeah. thing because they're in such a bubble in the Big Brother house. It's mm -hmm. a totally different world. And then when you come out into the real world, you never know what's going to happen. But yeah, you never know what's going to happen, right? And know. and you never know what's going to happen. So if you want to be on Big Brother, they are casting right Absolutely. now. Yeah. And as everyone has said, you heard just from the producers. You heard it from them. Be yourself. Apply. Try to do it. You can try to do it on RealityWanted.com. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And we we will see you again next season. Right, thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. Right.